we're going to have a quick look at anti-x linux on this laptop this is a low power laptop it's got two gigabytes of ram it's got a 32 gigabyte emmc and it's got a celeron n3060 so that's a dual core and it's quite low power this laptop hardly uses any power you can see here it's using about eight watts at the moment um, the battery is dead in it um, but you know it's quite a slow laptop but it does work well with some versions of Linux and anti-x Linux is something I've used before on a different machine that had was even slower than this and it worked really well on that so let's just have a quick look at anti-x on this laptop people have been asking me to try this on this um, little laptop so that's what we're going to do we're going to have a quick look at this uh, see how it performs and it's booted into the desktop really quickly um, okay so I've connected to the Wi-Fi and uh, the system's using 242 megabytes of RAM we've got 1.8 gigabytes total just ignore the sound over to the left here there's another PC that I'm updating and we're currently in anti-x just gonna try and load a web browser have a look around see what's on here we've got a terminal so the web browser is Firefox so it's, it's built in let's have a look at this NeoFetch isn't there is htop htop is there um and can we use this to install NeoFetch? I'm not sure what the default password is for Antix, but I'm sure I can find out online. My computer clock is wrong. Hopefully um can this be updated automatically? Or am I going to have to set that manually? Um, let's have a look. Control center. Date and time. Yeah. I don't know the uh, anti-x password, so I'm just going to look that up. Okay, so it's just a demo. Uh, set a system clock. Um, can it not just set this for me? Choose time zone. This is um, <laughs> not user friendly in the slightest. Um, use internet time server, here we go. So we've done that and we've got the wrong time. Do you have the right date? So can we access websites now? Well, I think we've got the right time. Yep, great. Okay. Um, Let's go to WebGL Aquarium. Have a quick look at this. That's running really well. Um, go to YouTube. And these videos are just going to be quick sort of beginners here I am using um, a version of Linux I've used this one before but I think this may be only the second time I've used it um, and I won't be installing it and that will affect performance this would be quicker if I installed it because then we would get a swap file um, for if 
we ran out of memory, for example. And we'd also be able to set up our username and password to whatever we wanted as well as install different um, applications and get it set up how we like. But um, yeah, I just thought I would have a quick look at this. And that's one of the nice things about Linux is that you can just try different versions of Linux without really having to install it first or go through the install process. You boot into a live um, system. Um, and that's one of the advantages over um, Windows that you're booting into a live system and you can just try it and see what it's like. Um, so yeah, we've got YouTube working. We've got WebGL Aquarium working and it just kind of works. It booted really quickly. Um, we are probably going to need to set the time zone properly to get the proper date and time, but there's not too much of an issue. Um, bit of a sort of old fashioned user interface here. So I should be able to find London in Europe. And if we use the internet time to set the date and time, are we going to get the correct time? No, I seem to be on EST, which is not um, what I want. Oh wait, here, we've got GMT up here, but they're not down here. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't really matter too much. And the password is this for this is demo. So we've not been able to find Neofetch, we might need to um, update. And I don't know the um, commands off the top of my head. Um, just kind of guessing from the last time I used Linux. And these are not, you know, guides for beginners really. Don't follow my advice, I am not an expert. I'm just someone having a quick look at Linux see what it's like on this laptop with a slow processor and two gigabytes of memory. So there's lots of updates here. Um, and I think that's another nice thing about Linux is that you can choose whether you want to do the updates or not. You can just sort of leave it as it is if you want, once you've got it set up how you want. And it makes for kind of a refreshing change compared to Windows. Um, we've got an FAQ. We've got a file manager. That I've opened too many times, I'm guessing you just click it once. And I don't know why it's not letting me quit this. Seem to have upset it a little bit. Um, not really sure what's happening now. But like I say, this is a slow little laptop. And if your system is even a little bit better than this, then you're likely going to get a better experience. Um, so, yeah, Anti-X Linux. On this little laptop, um, I think we'll end it there and have a look at another Linux operating system.